Hello guys and welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own bearded dragon enclosure. So first of all, it will be good to go into your local pet shop and getting a leaflet all about bearded dragons, their length, their lifespan and the shopping list that you will need. Here are some facts. They live up to 10 to 15 years. Their length is up to two foot, which I'll show you how long is now. So I've just got a measuring tape and two foot is this long. So the body, when it's fully grown, males always grow a bit bigger. So when it's fully grown, the body will be about that big and the tail will be about that big. So yeah, that's how long they go up to. So you're better off getting the big tank, which I'm going to show so you. So my about. tank is four foot 18, which, and the bearded dragon goes up to two foot. So it's a reasonably big tank. A three foot would be a little small. So I can't even get it in the video, but it's really big four foot. Um, and then it's that tall. So it's quite tall as well. Um, and yeah, that's the size of my tank. So you could get a four foot and two foot, which would be the size of the bearded dragon. And that's in length and, sorry, no, that's in height and width. Or you could just get the one that I've got. So you can also get different colours, so you can get um, brown, black, white, I've ordered a white one, I it's coming today. As you can see behind me, right there, I have all my equipment which I'm going to show you guys now. So guys, here is our first accessory. It's not, it's not, you don't have to have it, but it would be really good and it would be especially good for leopard geckos and crested geckos because this is huge. And it's basically got holes in the wood so that the geckos can go inside. So it's quite big. It's about two foot or three foot. And then next what we have is a reptivite. And depending from what country you're from, this will be different. So this is reptivite. And all you do, you put it in a bag as so with some crickets or mealworms or whatever you feed your bear dragon and this would be the same for crested geckos sometimes so you would put it in a bag you put the reptivite in a bag and then you'd put in the crickets and then you would shake the bag so that they have more coating on them and more vitamins and then next and then you can also get your leaflet from your local pet shop about like eight days and what you when what type of um what type of vitamins and calcium you would put in with the bug so you can just get a leaflet or ask somebody for a leaflet at your pet store to ask what type of food you would get for them next we have a pro a which you would put in the bag as well so this is all just vitamins that you would put in the bag and shake with the crickets then we've got calcium pro Next up, we have our basking lamp, and this is just like a bulb, and then you get a bracket with it, a lamp bracket with it, and it basically screws to the top of your wooden tank, or if you've got a mesh one, then you can get a holder for it and attach the lamp with a holder. So that's the lamp holder there, and that's just a bulb that you screw in with it. Then you have a thermostat, and the thermostat you have to have to turn up the temperature and turn off the temperature. What you would need is a, um, you don't actually need to keep on the light at night. So round about per day you'd probably keep the light on, and this is the basking light. So you would keep that on for about 12 hours a day, and you wouldn't keep it on at night because they can um, survive and like in room temperature at night. So that's the thermostat. And then any normal timer would work to set a timer for how long you'd want to keep the basking lamp on. Next, we have uh, a UVB kit. So this just goes on the top of the tank, near the, um, not near the basking lamp because what they would want to do is have the basking lamp in one corner 
and then this in another corner but it's supposed to have so i've got a four foot tank and say if you've got the light here it's supposed to have about that much room away from the corner of the tank so it's supposed to be quite a big light so all you do you just screw the plastic bit on then stop the light in with that and then next up you've got the crickets which i'm going to show you now so guys if you do go ahead and get um a gecko a chameleon a bearded dragon and any sort of lizard then you will have to feed them crickets because they are from the desert so when when they're older they will eat when when, when bearded dragons are older they will eat 90 or 70 percent veg and 10 percent bugs or 30 percent bug so when you have a baby bearded dragon like say up to about five months or six months you would feed them crickets about the size of a 5p so this is the cricket pen and you need to get them a pen as well so this is a large one or you can get a small one if you've got a smaller like chameleon thing so you'd get them smaller one if you have a chameleon i'm going to show you guys the crickets now so guys these are the crickets and this is their enclosure so not only do you have to feed the bearded dragon the crickets but you have to feed the crickets vitamins so that the bearded dragons will get vitamins from the crickets as well because there you get quite a lot of crickets in a pack therefore you can't feed the bearded dragon all of them in a week so you'd probably have to i mean that's depending on the size of your bearded dragon so as you can see this guy is smaller than my fingertip oh wow one just jumped so that guy's four that guy's smaller than my fingertip and this is a bowl that you'd probably get with them and so that's the bowl and all you get is like water crystals and instead of them drowning because they're so small you get um these crystal things which they eat and then you'd also get a packet of like it's a bit like hamster food and it's got like there that's it there so it's got like hamster food and oats in it and stuff like that and like tiny bits of dried vegetables and then when you put in your your crickets you would normally put the egg cup in it because they like as you can see they like the um darkness and then as you can see around here they like the darkness as well so these are silent crickets and they're small to medium so yeah and i'm going to show you guys how to get them out now but i'm not going to get any out so guys all you will need is these black tubes and the black tubes so you would hopefully get a pack some tweezers so say if you wanted to feed the mealworms then you would still have to get the same enclosure so for all bugs you have to get this enclosure or you can just keep them in the packets but it'd be harder to get them out when you want to feed your baby so these are the tweezers that i got with my pack and then I, because I got a large, if you got a small, then you normally get two small ones of these. So because I got a large one, because we might as well get a large, all you do, because you have these little vent here, these vent things here, but because crickets like the dark, they would go inside and it's got, I don't know if you can see that guys, but it's got little rigidy bits so that they don't fall down so they can also hang on to those visually bits so if you turn it round as you can see there's little vents here they're open so i'm not gonna actually get any out because i've not got my beard dragon yet obviously but i will do when i have my baby so you put it in the vent like that and let it fall to the bottom so you put that 10 minutes in your feed because it takes them a while to actually find out where the tube's going and then for example when you put the tube in and you can just look from the other side and see that there's crickets inside quickly pull it out turn it upside down and i don't know put something like this is the nearest thing that i could find put something like that on top so that they don't jump out then put them into a bag it can be an any bag it doesn't need to be a certain bag so you would have to have the bag ready so we got given this bag 
and because it's an aquatic store as well it was just a fish bag so you would put in in the other hand you would put the vitamin c which is over here so say if it was like day one you would put calcium pro inside the bag before you get the crickets out then so it tells you how much on the back you would have to put in so you'd have to put like a tablespoon or a teaspoon or grams or whatever so you'd have to put it in the bag but then put these in 10 minutes earlier so put so step one put these in step two get the bag and put in the calcium pro then check if, if there's any crickets in there if there isn't at least five or seven crickets depending on the size of your bird dragon or any reptile then you would probably just keep it in for a little bit longer until there's around about five or seven um depending on the size of them obviously and then after you do that you would get like a piece of paper or an object or anything like that and put it over the top so that they can't jump out get somebody else to help you open the bag and pour the crickets inside the bag and you would shake it and then you just put it inside of the vivarium obviously so yeah that's how you do the crickets and that is oh yeah and then also here's the food then i'll show you the accessories in a moment so guys this is the food so first of all when we got the pack open so first of all when we got the the, the cricket so this was called cricket pen you can get it online i would recommend getting a large one large ones are about 15 pounds smalls are about 10 so this comes with it and if you have any mealworms you can put them and slide them on the dish so they'll crawl up onto the dish and then you can just take them out because they don't jump obviously because they're not crickets so you just put the mealworms in there and just scoop them up or you could get them with tweezers depending if you get that with your cricket pen most cricket pens are the same so this is the food that you would get with it for the cricket so this is for the cricket and sometimes you can put it in with the bag as well when you shake the crickets in it so that would just go at the bottom of the pen so you would put this in before you put in the crickets so this is before you put in the cricket so you put in all the food and then you put in so you should get a little water bowl like i do i'll just show you guys that now so this is the little water bowl and they will absolutely go mad for it and inside there is just these little crystals um which i'm going to show you so this is what you put inside the food bowl and because some of the crickets like if you are going to get a baby bear dragon then you will only get a small bowl and these with it well, I mean, you should get these with it. If you don't, then your pet store will probably have some. So you put these in the bowl, and it's basically water inside of these, like, jelly cube things. I'll get one up to show you guys now. They don't really smell as such, but that's just them. They're just really small. And you put them full up to the bowl. And I only got my crickets yesterday. So, because I'm getting my beard a dragon on Sunday... So that's in a few days, I think three days. So you would probably put it up to about the top of the bowl. And then, yeah, they're, because they're so small, they would probably drown in water. And therefore you wouldn't get as much crickets. And, and actually, it's better to get live crickets because the bit, um, I, well, you could get dry crickets, but it's better to get live crickets because then the bearded dragon will chase after it and it'll have energy because actually it's the fact that bearded dragons can run up to nine miles an hour so that's also why it's good to get a long tank so this is just all all the other food that you get with it and this is some flower type stuff and you would put a tiny bit of that just a tiny bit in with the calcium c or you could put it in with the food and in the tank for the crickets. So yeah, and this is just the thing that I put it in. So I'm going to show you guys all the accessories now. So as you can see, I've already showed you the wood. But I'm kind of going for a deserty look. So wood about this would probably cost up to £30 at the most or at the least. 
so you that i got this one for about 26 24 and it is super big but you can't just give them normal wood because it could have bugs and diseases on it from all the spiders maybe laying eggs and ladybirds on it so that's why you shouldn't get normal wood and then i've got this as well so it's like normal wood from like a forest or anything so you could go for a different type look with like a forest wood which is like grey bark so then i've got this fake cactus as well and a good company is exoterra and it's a really good company um, which you get most of your stuff from i got this pen from it this cricket pen and i got this from it and i got the bowl and i got the the bulb from exoterra and they do really good stuff so this is just plastic it's not prickly at all and it's just a cactus thing this was about five pound so the, the accessories are quite cheap but this is the water bowl and if you didn't already know then because there is a heat lamp in it so they would like to have like a little bit of coolness to cool down from the heat lamp so you would put this the furthest away from the heat lamp so it's a water bowl and it's proper solid as well it's proper like stone type like clay thing and it has a walkie down bit there so the bearded dragon can walk down and just chill in it so that's why you should also get a really big one so i don't have a food bowl yet um because i've ordered it online but what you can get is these plastic leaves so if you've got a wooden tank like me you probably have to like stick on the wooden leaves with like plastic things that go into the side of the tank um but yeah i've ordered a water a food bowl and it's only a small food bowl because that's just for the veg so next up we also have the hut and this is by um this is by my pet my local pet store so you probably wouldn't get it because this is only near me so it's just a company and it's nowhere else it's called swells reptiles <coughs> And it's a really good company. If you type it on online, then you'll be able to find it. It has aquariums. It has reptiles. That's what it has. And it has loads of reptile stuff. Honestly, guys, it would be the best to go to. So this is by Swirls Reptiles. And because most of them are for, like, snakes or, like, spiders, this is for a bearded dragon. So as you can see, it has quite a lot of room for it. So when it grows, it will be able to walk in. So I'm going to show you guys that it's actually a basking platform as well. So it's a basking platform because it has the side bits which they can just crawl up onto and it will be good as well. So you can put that underneath the basking lamp to the side but they would probably like that. So if you've got two of them maybe or just got like a stone type thing for a for the basking lamp so a stone for the basking lamp than that in the corner because they do like going in the shade when it gets a little too hot so yeah that is the huge thing and that was about 20 pound yeah so yeah i mean that is quite a lot of stuff that you would need so i'm going to talk about chameleon or bearded dragon bearded dragons are very friendly and chameleons don't like being picked up that often depending on the type of chameleon that you get maybe a horned chameleon or a leopard chameleon or whatever you get it depends on that so most chameleons don't like being picked up and they'll start hissing at you and they just don't like it at all so they mostly like being in their enclosure so you wouldn't get them a long enclosure you would get a new would you with a bearded dragon you wouldn't get the bearded dragon the tall one because as I said, bearded dragons like to run and chameleons just like to chill and climb up. So that's where you'd get a chameleon. Probably about this high. So a chameleon you would probably get about a three foot tank, which is quite tall. Or you would get it four foot, depending on the size of your chameleon. You can get chameleons that are about that big and they just cling to your finger, but the type of skin that's on their like hand type things, um, it just will give you like a rash or it might hurt and their claws might hurt. And I know that beard dragons have claws, but like it's different 
the type of skin is different on their hand type things. So yeah, um, but their uh, bearded dragons, they are very friendly and chameleons. If you're that type of person that would wear a glove or it would sit on your shoulder, then yeah, that would be good if you had a chameleon for that. But uh, yeah, I would, if you were like a, um, a kid or anything, or like a child, I would mostly go for like a bearded dragon because they are really friendly and if you really like holding creatures then they are really friendly so i'm going to talk about the temperatures now of the of the bearded dragon's enclosure so the temperature for a baby bearded dragon so that would be about zero to about three or two months that would probably be about um probably about 30 to 32 degrees and you just do that on the thermostat which is this So I'll I'll do in a in a new YouTube video I'll do all of the I'll do about thermostat and I'll do about temperature. So this is the thermostat. And as you can see, you can turn it up and down. So my one goes up to 80 degrees, and then it also goes up to no no sorry my one goes down to 26 not 80 26 to 40 degrees. So you'd probably have to keep an eye on this, and also at the end somewhere. Oh yeah, here. Oh yeah, sorry, you can't see. So this is a what do you call it? A, a temperature tester, so a thermometer, and you just put it in the tank at the top, maybe, and you just put some like these things where you knock it in at the top so that it holds on. And so I'll show you guys my whole um my whole enclosure when i've got it so it should hopefully be here today so you just turn up the temperature with that and that and you plug it into a wire and then you plug the bulb into this and it will just test the temperature as well so guys that is all for the youtube video and that is the first video that i possibly made in about two months so i hope you like this youtube video and be sure to check out my videos about thermometers and temperature and all that stuff and all the accessories that you can get okay bye okay guys see you later